Hey, thanks for tuning in FYG, Hafiz here and today I'll be showing you guys on how to fix your Thief Gold CD-ROM version or if you have the DVD version you may apply this fix as well. Please take note that this fix is only meant for Thief Gold and not the Dark Project. As for the Dark Project, you may apply it until step 3 and that's it. Alright, the first thing that you need to do is insert your CD-ROM 1 or this one into your CD drive. So what you're going to do now is actually to browse your CD content after you insert the CD-ROM and install the game as per normal. But before that, please ensure that you actually look for the setup.exe and go to properties, compatibility and change it to Windows 98 because if you don't, there's going to be a problem running the setup. Alright, once this is checked and then you can run the setup from the CD1 as per normal. So after the setup launch, just click on next and you can actually change to any destination folder you prefer okay so I personally like to save it in games so I'm just gonna edit this and change to games if you're using a, a D drive or E drive or whichever drive that's fine okay so C games Thief G that's your personal um, preferred location okay and go for the full installation and click on next and let the game install so along the way, you will receive a prompt disk for CD2. If you are using the DVD version, you won't be able to see this because DVD version only have one disk, right? But when you take out this uh, first disk, you will notice there's an error, something like that. Just ignore that. That's normal for Windows 8 and 8.1. So you're going to insert the second disk in. And then once the disk has loaded, click on continue and let the installation run again. Yeah, and just like that, the CD2 is installing. So depending on your CD-ROM speed, it depends on the length of installation. Sometimes it may take a while, but that's okay. Just be patient with it. And when you're about to finish the installation of the second disk, it will prompt again to insert the first disk. Again, this only applies to the CD-ROM version of Thief Go. So again, you will see that error message after you take out your second disk. That's okay. Just pop in your first disk and just click on continue and click on OK. So yeah, I just that's weird, but then again, that's all right. You know, I don't have that problem in the previous Windows except for Windows 8 and above, but that's OK. So let the installation run. And for this one, just click on next and it will update the direct shaw components and it will say setup is complete. OK, when that is done, click on quit. All right. So from here onwards will be the installation of the fix to make it run on Windows 7 or Windows 8 or even 64-bit OS, all right? So what you need to do is actually go to the link that I gave you below on the um, OpenAL and then you will go to my Google Drive, which is here, and download the olins.exe. So that's to install the OpenAL, all right? Just double click on it when you have downloaded it and click on OK. This is for the sound. So the next thing that you need to install is actually the T-Fix. So based on the link, you'll, you'll be direct to this part of the forum. Thanks to Voodoo47 for posting this up. Credits to him. And download the T-Fix. Alright, at the moment, um, as of July, is uh, version 1.19J so just click on that and it will link to the Google Drive and just click on download so once you have downloaded that whoops sorry uh, once you have downloaded that you will receive this file tfix 1.19J just double click on it and click on next and just turn this on for a uh, better quality of the graphics so locate your installation folder after that which is um, previously I installed in TFG and just like that and if you install in other ones just you know browse it so click on install and let it install now this will take a while but don't sorry don't worry about it um, as for this portion okay I recommend if you have a GDX 500 series or maybe an AMD 7000 series just click on no alright to use AA options but if you have an onboard sound or playing with a laptop I personally suggest you to to click on yes so once the installation has finished you can actually start the game so this fix only applies if you want to play the game without the HD textures just updated improvements of graphics 
So you're gonna test the game first before applying the HD texture. So you just go to your installation folder and launch Thief just like that to see if it runs. Okay, the movie is playing. Now again, um, you have to go to the controls option to change whatever controls that you prefer. And on top of that, on the video, make sure it's, it's set to your preferred resolution and your audio. Turn the hardware acceleration on and give it a while. It will actually gonna um, um, click it twice to change it to OpenAL. Now, I'm using a creative sound card, but I haven't tested with uh, any onboard sound or such whether you can use this option. So once it's there, the EAX will turn on automatically and then you can click on new game and skip training and just start to see if the game actually launched without any crashes. All right, so here we go. This is Thief. Um, so what you're gonna do now, whatever fix, whatever inputs I'm gonna apply after this will be for the HD quality so if you only want to play until there that part and you don't want any graphic enhancement anymore so you can stop the video now and enjoy your game but for those of you who are looking for a HD textures uh, you can continue watching this video alright so on the third link that I posted in the description will actually lead you to this website at mode, mode DB okay and what you need to do when you are here is actually to go down and look for this uh, HD mode 0 0.93 now as for now the 0 0.93 is actually the latest version so in future if any of you click on this link and you will see 0 0.94 please download that I think it's gonna be better okay so for now it's 0 0.93 you're gonna click on any of it and then you're gonna download it and what you will receive is actually this setup file Thief Gold HD mode 0.9 okay, tree. so just double click on that and then install it based on the location that where you installed your Thief earlier on now again this method is actually to play the HD mode and whatever fix here is done to play with a community fix and such so if you guys want to play the original Thief Gold let me know and I will do a tutorial video on how to get it working without having any of the community fixes. So again, um, over here, you have to be careful around here because what you need to do is to browse to where you install your games. By default, it will go to program files. So browse it and select Thief G. Like over here, I install it here. But at this portion, make sure the Thief goal at the end, you remove it okay so even if you were to install it in program files they might be two one is thief goal and another thief goal so make sure you remove that only point it to where your thief location is located at it's installed at so click on install so for this one you just let the mode install it will take a while it's like about 900 megabytes so let it install so once the installation is completed as you can see you're just gonna click on close and then what you're gonna do from here onwards is actually to launch the game first but after you launch the game and make sure it's in and stuff like that you exit the game and you're gonna go to the new dark graphics settings over here and this is where you're gonna adjust your graphic resolution options okay for me personally I go for 8x you know just click on like that and everything on you know config whatever and I use the config tree just like that you know just whatever you have select already then just click on close and launch the game okay so after you have done that um, to ensure that there's no crashes in between the loading screens you're gonna download the fourth link that I equipped below which is for the EP2 now take note again this enhancement pack is all to enhance thief experience so click on that and you're gonna lead you to the Google Drive again one of the guys um, who's who is it nameless voice thanks to him for posting this up and then you're gonna download that ah, crap this IDM and what you're gonna receive is this EP2 CRF so what you need to do is just to copy your card and paste it in your main directory of the folder then that's it do not adjust anything anymore from the um, cam extension or cam mode don't change anything over there alright so once you have done that just launch the game let's have a look
okay so now just go to the options graphic aside from the controls make sure everything is still on normal resolution and also open AL and I'm gonna click on new game and let's see the loading now may be a little slow okay because of the um, HD textures and stuff like that but that's okay it's not so bad so once you are in here you are set to go now I understand that some of you may not like it because of the color tone is changed and stuff like that um, but then again you know this is for the people who wants the game to look different but for those of you again who wants to play the original graphics please let me know and I will do a video tutorial on how to fix on that so have fun um, tweaking with the graphic settings I recommend using the uh, config tree full color bloom okay and then the for the water tool um yeah there's two actually one is the graphics tool and one is the water tool i personally prefer to use the water type 4 but then again you can preview all of them um and have your choice just the way you want it so thank you for checking out fyg fix i'm hafiz signing off from youtube